Alright, All right. so uh, let's uh, walk in here. No need to wipe it from e Ebola or something? No, oh, no I think uh, it's a pretty good idea. So this is Oculus? Yes, this is our Oculus Crescent B, the latest um, headset. So I have the Facebook, Facebook headset set up right now, it's off. Uh, yeah, it's off, but we haven't started the demo yet. So how do you start it? Yeah, we're, we're doing it. Don't Can you worry. explain how it works? Uh, so basically, so we just have um, uh, a, a demo running, and basically there's a uh, uh, now do we call it direct access? So now I hear something. Now I see a, a screen. Yep. And now I see a Unreal. Yep. So and that's the, the s there's a yeah, storm that's, going on. Yeah, it's about to start. So feel free to enjoy it. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on here? So what is the resolution? Is it full HD display in here? Uh, it's actually higher it's than higher full HD. HD yeah. No, it's 25 by 12, uh, 25 by 14 right now. Nice. Yeah. That's so this is just a video. I, I feel like I'm inside an action film. There's some bullets flying. Exactly. I'm inside and it's... Uh, yeah, feel free to turn around. So how do you do this graphics? It looks pretty amazingly mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. So like you see here, we, we need a lot of like graphic power to compute the whole thing to, to like a real time generate everything, all the effects, all this Stop. rendering, texturing. It's so, cool. Yeah, amazing, right? It's fantastic. I really feel like I'm about to grab all these. I can go and slap. Are you here? I don't want to slap you. <laughs> don't I worry, can slap this you. guy. Is this a camera? Yes. Uh, I don't know where you are. I have no idea where I'm at right now, but I feel like I'm a different planet. Whoa! <laughs> wow. This is cool. And this is rubbish in, yep. the, in the air. Yeah. All right, so, so, so this is only possible with NVIDIA? Um, it's actually. Um, uh, uh, something special that we have uh, cooperation with the Oculus and uh, Epic Games to like uh, generate things like this, so that you can imagine that. Oh, did I pull some cable? Yeah, you just, yeah, you just happen to. I hope I like, break it. Because you need the demo for some. I, I can still see, but uh, right now I disconnected something. Yeah, you cool. just happen to like. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was that was fantastic. Is it still filming? Yeah. All right. So can you explain? Uh, uh, so this there, there, this is connected to our big PC right here. Yes. With a GeForce. Yes, it's actually powered by our GeForce GTX 980 yeah. Ti, our latest GPU which is launched. So, yeah. so uh, what you can see here, because you know uh, this resolution is actually higher than um, 1080p, yeah. and you know, we have a lot of frames we need to like generate it in this headset. So. Basically, you can imagine that for this kind of experience, you need a lot of graphics power. So that's why, but you know, with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 90 Ti, you can just with a single GPU, you can run everything just with a single GPU and experience a, like a whole 3D immersive experience, like a gaming, like a super okay. high Let's get the next visual guys, quality. The next guys in to try if they don't mind to be in the video. Oh, yeah. And you can continue talking. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this is the latest Oculus. Um, and uh, well, how does Oculus work? There's a there's a cable going out to the PC, and it's just getting a video output and con sending commands. How does it work? Uh, it's actually there's a like sensor inside the headset, and we also have a tracker over there. So this is the Oculus that's using uh, what's it called? Uh, is that the HTC design? No. I uh, know this uh, Oculus. Design. But Oculus has also all these sensors. Oh uh, yeah. So they kind of made all this stuff. So what we're doing with uh, Oculus is just making sure that we have like a perfect synchronization thing and we can like combine all this headsets and graphics stuff all together. So what you can see here, we have sensor here and the tracker there. So everything just combined together. Tracker. With, uh, what yeah, is this tracker? Uh, the tracker is using for, for, like, for your uh, motions and uh, it will detect the, the position you are. That's not the normal Microsoft uh, tracker thing, right? It's, it's not. It's something it's not. else. That's, yeah, something else. Is it high-end or no? This one, uh, Oculus as well. Oculus also? Yes. All so, right, so is this uh, a bunch of developers have this version or is it a special one? Uh, this is, this a, is a special one. Is that a special uh, prototype, uh, Crescent Bay, the, the, the latest, latest prototype. prototype? So what does it have more compared to, to previous uh, Oculus? 
uh, compared with uh, the, the, the the previous, it has all uh, these sensor things. Is that new? Uh, this is actually like with a higher resolution in um, the three D positional audio headphones. Audio headphones, yes, three. Sir. So okay. if you move your head, you get different uh, uh, sounds. Yes. 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 All right. You can hear things going on all over the place. All right, that's really really awesome. And uh, what's it called? Uh, could you do this with a Tegra K uh, X1? Could all this work? Or it, it needs a huge GPU. Which GPU are you having right. here? We have the latest GeForce GTX 980 Ti graphics card, which is the fastest GPU in the world right now. And what's it called? Uh, Excluding the Titan X. Uh, yeah, and uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm just out of focus right here. Uh, and uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, what is this demo that we just saw inside? How do you make this? This demo is by the famous guys at Epic Games, which runs the Unreal Engine 4. The name of the demo is Showdown, and it's an example of the power and the potential of virtual reality. Will the games be as cool as that when it comes out? Most likely. Most likely. The games will feel like this. You'll be immersed. People Absolutely. need to reconfigure their homes to have a room just for playing around and pillows on the wall so you don't break your, your neck or how will it be? That's a challenge right now but hopefully with future revisions, future versions that won't be the case and you'll be able to run these in a more practical bedroom setup or living room setup. And how soon? All of this. Before Christmas? For the Oculus Crescent Bay it's scheduled to release in quarter one 2016. So right now it's only Mark Zuckerberg and a few other people are playing around with it but uh, I'm joking. Right. Mostly, yes. Right now, hobbyists, uh, enthusiasts, developers. They pay how much for the prototypes? For the, is it five nine nine? Some kind of uh, one thousand or something? For the, it's at least one thousand. At least one thousand. Okay. Yeah. So who are you? Uh, my name is Jason Paul. I uh, run uh, virtual reality at Nvidia. So, uh, how does Nvidia make it better? The VR experience. Uh, well, uh, we uh, provide the uh, graphics processor to uh, does all the rendering for the virtual reality image. So we make them faster, we lower the latency, and we improve compatibility. So uh, is this the best VR experience in the world right here? It, it, what you're seeing here is state of the art. So it's uh, running our flagship new GeForce GTX 980 Ti graphics card uh, with uh, Oculus's latest Crescent Bay uh, prototype virtual reality headset. So. Uh, Crescent Bay is the best Oculus VR, and uh, Oculus is the best VR company in the world. I will. So what we're showing here today, like I said, is, is our is state of the art in virtual reality. It's our 980 Ti plus Oculus is Crescent Bay. And you have a, a, a loop uh, kind of video demo that runs that's really amazingly awesome. What is, how, how much GPU does that use? Is it really uh, important to have a fast GPU for that to work? Uh, so what we're showing that here is is uh, we're showing Epic Games uh, Showdown uh, tech demo. It's running Unreal Engine 4. Uh, and uh, it requires, you know, requires a ton of horsepower. You're running a high-resolution display uh, at a minimum of 90 FPS, uh, so it takes a lot of graphics horsepower. Is it more than 1080p display? It's like a 2K, 4K. Uh, the, uh, the resolution uh, on the it's like the state of the art smartphone, uh, no? Uh, yeah, the, the resolution is like like above 1080p. Yeah, and, uh, and and so, but the vision here is that you want to involve all the game guys. The game developers to do content for that, right? Are you in a position to enable that? Yeah. So what, what we uh, announced earlier this week is uh, what we call GameWorks VR, and it's a, uh, a software development kit at SDK uh, for game uh, VR game and headset developers to help them build uh, better, uh, you know, richer virtual reality experiences. So it helps them get more performance out of the hardware, helps them reduce latency, and, and makes uh, the headsets more uh, plug and play compatible with. with Why would GeForce. it be latency? Uh, how, how the latency in other systems? What, what, what's the where's the issue? Is it right here, right? The computer is right well, here. So you have to take uh, you know head tracking information from the headset. So when I'm moving my head around in the game, that data for where my head's at is getting sent back to the computer. You've got to take that data, render the frame, uh, and then output that back into the headset. So all that takes a little bit of time, uh, but you really can't have any have any latency between your head moving. And what shows up on your on your display, otherwise that can cause motion sickness. What is this? The, what is the the latency right now? Is it very well, low? The goal is is really to get it sub 20 milliseconds, which is what which is uh, what we're delivering. Uh, here, You're already here. doing that. 
Yep. Even if it's just a video demo, will you be able to do that for games? How, how many yeah, games do you have working right now? Are uh, you already testing a whole bunch that's working? So the, yeah, there's a number of uh, there's a number of games already out on the market and a ton more coming. Uh, but yeah, we're already delivering that that, that experience today. I, I guess there could be some amazing VR games coming out. That would be the killer app right there. If you yeah. have a killer game that just and yeah. people will want to buy it. Virtual reality, you know, gaming is, is sort of leading the way for virtual reality. Though there's a lot of experiences, you know, uh, filmmakers are creating cool film experiences. Um, there's some, you know, interesting apps and and you know, painting type applications that are happening. But gaming is definitely leading the way right now for virtual reality. All right. And uh, how hard is it to to make a game for VR? Because I'm, ex I'm guessing that games already have the three engines, like the Unreal Engine guys. Absolutely. So it's just like kind of like a plugin, and then it's VR. No. No, I mean games need to be designed for VR. Uh, you know, so I mean, obviously, you know, creating a 3D game, uh, you have a good basis for that because you already have the 3D environment. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of tips and tricks for making content good in VR. Um, you know, helping pe put people in, get the head tracking and uh, uh, and the positional tracking uh, into uh, into the game. Uh, but you know, a lot of developers are doing it, and there's a lot of game jams and plug and, uh, and, and and festivals where game developers are coming together and creating awesome content. So I was testing it out, and it looks fantastic. I wanted to grab those stones flying by and bullets and stuff. So how about uh, it's kind of like a camera, and um, and your arms and your hands are entering the game. Is that possible? Yeah, there's a bunch of different people doing uh, doing cool things with input devices. Uh, you know, there's uh, there's hand trackers. Um, you know, there's camera sensors that. Are are detecting, uh, you know, hand and hand and uh, arm movement. Um, so I think that that's definitely one of the things that you're going to see uh, come into play, uh, you know, over the next uh, coming year with virtual reality is more and more input devices and ways to bring your body and your hands into the into the experience. And what's the solution for not banging your head into the walls? Because I guess you might have done that already because you tested it, right? Is that a problem? Uh, well. Um, you know, there's uh, there's some different ways to do it. One is is uh, you know having some type of uh, uh, having some type of warning uh, system, warning system inside of the game. Um, you know, I've seen I've seen games do it where as you get closer to a physical wall, they'll say they'll tell you there's a virtual wall in the game. It should be like you're gonna die, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, but but there's uh, but there's you know definitely definitely a lot of those problems that uh, you know that that game developers and. And, and headset developers have to solve, so it's it's pretty exciting. I guess maybe the easiest, the best solution is just a lot of pillows on the walls, or something, right? <laughs> Foam pillows, yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever just, works. Yeah, not don't get too emerged in the game. Just that there has to be a limit, right? Yeah. Well, and there's also seated experiences too. Uh, you know, we're showing some seated experiences here with CCP's uh, Eve Valkyrie. Uh, where you just sit down, you grab a gamepad, but you're you're in this uh, you know immersive uh, you know spaceship uh, and, and 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 gaming. So Nvidia is the gaming king, right? So what's going to be the biggest application for VR? Is it going to be video gaming? What do you think? Well, I think video games are you know going to lead the way because you know sort of you mentioned you know people already have the 3D worlds. It's easier to take this take this type of application. Uh, and and build VR experiences around, so around games. 360 video is going to be less attractive. But, but no, I think I think you'll you'll see you'll see 360 video, film, uh, you know, live action events, things like that coming as well as a bunch of different applications from medical to uh, auto automotive to um, you know different professional verticals. Nice. So, How about the X1 GPU, uh, the the Maxwell that's right, right there, right? right? It should be fast enough for this, right? Are you gonna make a shield VR? I'm joking. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of uh, there's definitely interest in in, uh, in mobile and wireless solutions, right? Um, and so there are uh, there are companies out there already who are building headsets off of our Tegra processors uh, to have mobile VR. And who doesn't want to cut the cable and be wireless? They have that already. So who's working on it? Kickstarter? Uh, well, there's a you know, company called Gameface uh, who's shown prototypes of, uh, of their headset that's running on uh, Tegra K1. K1. So how about the X1? Is it faster GPU? It is faster, so you know we'll see what comes. It's possible. All right. <laughs> sure. Cool. Uh, streaming the, from the grid to the VR. That you know, that's also is interesting. Latency, interesting technology. Extra la latency. What's that? There's extra latency for streaming from the grid. Certainly, certainly latency is a factor when you're streaming, but. You know, I think we're, we're we're looking at a lot of different types of uh, types of ways to solve different problems in VR, from latency to providing the graphics horsepower. So, I think there's definitely a big desire to get wireless. 
Uh, and so there's some, there's definitely a lot of research and, and, uh, and development going in that area. I hope you're rushing to get things out before Christmas. <laughs> well, our GPUs are there today, so people can go buy the GTX 980. Yeah, but there needs GT to be a final hardware. Somebody needs to come with the whole package, yep. you know, yep. and make a lot of money. Why not? Certainly. Because lots of people should buy I mean, this. We're definitely anxious and doing whatever we can to help the headset manufacturers get out as soon as possible.